Is a big remaster update possible for Planet Zoo? I would like to believe yes. So, in the most recent update, 1.16, which released alongside the Eurasia Animal Pack, we got the redesign of the Malayan Tapia, which you can see right here, looking a lot better than what it did previously and is now easily identifiable when placed next to the bear's tapia. As before, it was basically a black and white clone, but now it has a longer trunk, a different body shape, and a lot more details that the bear's tapia lacks. So does this mean that Frontiers are actually gonna go back and remake a few of the other animals to bring them up to speed with how the game looks currently? I would like to hope so, and it would be a great idea in my personal opinion. It would create more balance in the animal rosters. You would have all these animals looking top notch and realistic. Right now it's almost half and half, where you've got one side that is slightly stylized and tunified, and the other that's looking as realistic as any. But let's have a look at the several dozen animals that could use some tweaks to bring them more in line with their realistic counterparts. So first up is the aardvark. When you compare the Plan Zoo one to its real life counterparts, they are, when it, when it works, there we go, they are a bit different. So you can see here that it has longer hairs around the rump, a much more naked and longer tail, uh, naked around the ears as well, and a longer face as well. More of a longer uh, body as well. So they've got all these different features that should be able to be applied to the Plan Zoo Aardvark. Now, the African Buffalo, which should be renamed the Cape Buffalo, as that is the subspecies being represented in the game as African Forest Buffalo, are also under the African buffalo species, but they are both considered subspecies of one another. Now we're comparing this one to the realistic version, there are a few key differences. So one is the more coarse hair and more detail around the face, hair on the ears, and longer horns that have a bit of a shine to them. So yeah, like a few of these features that could be tweaked would be good. African savanna elephants, well, when you put them up to the next one, the realistic version, they do have a few differences with more wrinkles and and folds of skin, but it, it, you can see the difference. I think that's what I'm going to do for the mo most of the video, just see the differences. And if Frontier actually watches this video, you'll you'll have the inspiration you need, I would I would think. African penguin being our next animal, comparing it to the realistic version, has a few tweaks that can be made. African wild dogs do look a bit different to each other, especially when compared to the real life version. So if this was the version that we had in the game, I would be really happy with this. Aldabra giant tortoise, the real one. They're not too dissimilar, but a few extra details could go a long way. I am going to include exhibit animals here because there are a few ones that need a, a bit of an update. Amazon Giant Centipede could be given its more fleshy underside as well, where the legs are actually attach and not just these segmented pieces. It's actually a full long thing, full long body. The American Plains Bison, next to the actual one. So the females and the males are pretty much the same in the game. So giving the females a smaller head and bring them somewhat closer to the European Bison or Wisents that we just received and giving them a more bare uh, second half to the body. That would be really good to identify that this is the Plains Bison specifically. Now the animal leopard does have some pretty sad eyes, so bring it more in line with these darker eyes with the piercing pupils, maybe even making it slightly 
thicker around the neck. Although this is just one image, but Frontier would know what to do. Lesser Antillian iguana next to a real one. So a few details there. Uh, uh, Arctic wolf. So here we go with the Arctic wolf. There's a real version. So a lot fluffier and more identifiable hairs compared to the blocky version. Here's the Bactrian camel, an animal that really does need a remodel as you put it up to next to the real one. There are some very uh, <laughs> visible differences. We just got the fix to the Malayan tapir. Now we have the Baird's tapir. So looking against its real life version, maybe a longer trunk could potentially work. And some of these nicer hairs that sort of form a short mane there. That would be really good. Tigers and other big cats do need a bit more added to them. So giving them the, the ruffs around their cheeks, that would be really good. And a revised body shape, giving them more visible muscle. Now, this one is a bit controversial, I could say. The Binturong was given a big remodel just before Southeast Asia released. But with the Sloth Bears edition, they could add a more shaggy hair to the back and tail, giving them just that bit more realism to a real Binturong. As they're not all clean cut, a lot are actually quite shaggy. So maybe having the female as almost clean cut and then the male being the big fluffy one. Next to the blue wildebeest, the black wildebeest does pale in comparison in terms of quality. So a few updates to the hair textures would be really good into the tail as well, giving both like identifiable high quality, making them as realistic as possible. Black and white rough lemur. There we go, making it more realistic in the fur textures. Most, most of these animals, the improvements come with the fur textures and the actual skin textures. Boa constrictor compared to a real one. I can see the big improvements that need to be made to that one. The bongo antelope compared to the real life. The bonobo also compared with real life. They've got a bit more hair on them and it sticks out in places as well. Here's a big one. Born in orangutans, which have a lot more hanging hair. So using the the more realistic fur textures that we have now, this could potentially be added to this animal and give it the iconic orangutan look. I'm sorry if you don't like spiders, but the Brazilian salmon pink spider could use a few more hairs. I forgot to do the animation for that one. One of the most dangerous spiders in the world, Brazilian wandering spider, also could use a few added hairs as well and maybe even add this animation where they raise their front legs that would be a really cool detail uh here we have the cheetah you know i also forgot the animation for this one damn it but this is a real cheetah and everyone knows what the flying zoo one looks like chinese pangolin and here's a real one so one of the major updates that should be given to the pangolin is the ability to climb so Basically, remodeling it to a, to accompany that climbing ability would be a good idea. The clouded leopard is one of the better looking animals in the Southeast Asia animal pack, looking very close to reality. But giving it a more realistic look as well, and making it somewhat look a bit more threatening in some ways, um, that would be a good idea as well. Colombian white-faced capuchin, compared to real life. Common death adder, also compared with real life. They are a lot cooler in real life. I've seen them. They are very cool snakes. Common ostrich, real life. Common warthog, real life. A lot more long hairs there. So. 
sort of closer to the Red River Hogs appearance. The Cougar could use a bit of a redo as well, giving it s some of the fluffier hairs in some places. The much more coarse and identifi identifi uh, identifiable bits of hair on, on an animal is something that the wise end has and something that can be applied to a lot of animals in the game currently. Now the doll is a bit different, so it does look like it's tropical version, but it could use maybe a few changes potentially, like especially some of the hair, and then also adding in the the white bellied variant, and which has a few longer hairs as well, but that's the more common one that you see in the zoo. The dingo could add variants, like there are various variants of the dingo that are currently not in the game. But compared to real life, he could use a bit of a work. Eastern blue tongue lizard, compared with real life. Eastern brown snake, also compared with real life. The Fennec fox could use a, a little bit of a tweak to bring it closer to reality, but yeah, it looks okay right now. Formosa and Black Bear could be brought similar to the League of the Sloth Bear in this case, as they are very fluffy in real life. Gamesbox doesn't have too many easy to see features about it, mostly just giving it a revised tail and some other features that I know modders have picked up on. Gariel needs its no well its jaws much thinner and sort of spindly as they're, they're especially adapted for swiping through the water very quickly. Also making them slightly wider and giving them a bit more muscle. Like if you use photo re reference, you'll be able to get it Frontier, I'm sure of it. Giant Anteater is another animal that could benefit from the updated fur textures, giving it those long threads of hairs and yeah, just giving it that scruffy look. Giant burrowing cockroach, can be able to real life. Giant desert hairy scorpion, also compared to real life right there. The giant forest scorpion, compared to real life. Galapagos tortoise, compared with real life. Giant Panda could use a few features changed about its fur textures, giving it a, a bit more um, extra detail. Giant Tiger Land Snail, compared to real life. The Gila Monster, giving it a bit of a longer body and slightly smaller head, I would say, and a longer neck. Golden Poison Frog. The Goliath beetle, adding in the small hairs that beetles have under their under their shells. Goliath bird eater, giving it a lot more hairs and a few added details that would bring it closer to the real thing. Goliath frog, adding in a few different skin textures that would bring it closer to the real animal. Greater flamingo. Right there, giving it identifiable feathers. Individual feathers, I mean. Green iguana, giving it that orange version and the more detailed scales as well. That would be really cool to see. The grey seal being closer to real life. I mean, it's not too far off, but a few changes would be nice. The grizzly bear, bringing much closer to Real life, more muscular than fat, I would say. Next, we have the Himalayan brown bear. A lot fluffier in real life. The hippopotamus, giving it a few longer legs and more detail. Asian elephant, that should be a, a rename for it potentially. Bring it much closer to these elephants somewhat. 
Indian peafowl being close to the real thing. Indian rhinos are the most magnificent rhino in Asia. Like they just look fan fantastic and are phenomenal animals to look at. And I would love for Frontier to give this animal a bit of justice to give it the detail and sharper horns that many animals adorn as well. The Jaguar is another big one. When you compare it to real life, there are some very clear differences between them. The Japanese macaque, compared to real life. The koala is another big one, as that's what they look like in real life. Not like Kaplan's who looks. They also need to spend a lot more time in the trees. Komodo dragons, compared to real life. Layman's poison frogs. The llama. Giving more of a woolly texture rather than fluffy. Mandrel also should be given a more justified look. Make make it look a bit more muscular. Now the meerkats is an interesting one as, yeah, they, they should have darker patches around the eyes and a bit of a tweaked face, I would say. Mexican red knee tarantula, also more spider hairs. Nile monitor is another big one that people have brought up. Maybe using the Asian water monitor as a base would be good in bringing this animal into much more of a realistic appearance. Nyala males usually have a lot fluffier hair. I will say that and it hangs well too. Akapi. Given a bit more detail in some areas. Plain zebra. And possibly renaming it to the Grant Zebra as that is the one that we see in the game. Or giving the subspecies as variants. So giving the Burchells and Chapman zebras various others as well. Wait, is Chapman's another? I can't remember which subspecies the Chapman's it's supposed to be. But yeah. The ones with the brown stripes in between the blacks, that's, I'm pretty sure, Birchall's. Oh, the polar bear needs to look a bit more athletic as well. Not as fat as it currently does, in my personal opinion. Pronghorn antelope. Looking more like that. One of my favourite North American animals all round. Puff adders being given much thicker body. And could use the Desert Horn Viper as a bit of inspiration there. Pygmy Hippo. Being close to real. Oh, the, I honestly forget how cute baby Pygmy Hippos are. They're, they're so chubby and, and so. They're just so cute. Like, emphasize the cuteness more. <laughs> I just spent a bit of time with some real red kangaroos and. Notice the differences in their faces to the ones in Planet Zoo. Giving it more of that real look would be really nice, and giving them that more coarse fur texture would really love that. Okay. <laughs> now, I do not like Planet Zoo's Red Panda, but if they were to remodel it and give it that look, I would be over the moon. I would just love to see my favourite animal of all time be given justice in this game as they look fantastic in real life and I'd love to see that translated to Plant Zoo one day. Red rough lemurs. More detail, I would say. Reindeer are an interesting one as giving them more... More sexual dimorphism, as the males have huge antlers, yet the ones in Plant Zoo are pretty much exactly the same as each other. So, giving them that sexual dimorphism, as well as the fur textures, and even antler variation and horn variation for various animals as well, that would be a really cool feature. Reticulated giraffe, looking like that. Ring-tailed lemur, I actually met my first ones. Uh, the other day, actually. Looking really nice in real life. I'd love to see them like that in the game. 
sable antelope compared to real life. The saltwater crocodile compared to real life, it looks phenomenal in real life. If you've seen a saltwater crocodile in real life, that is an experience and a half. They are phenomenal animals to look at. Now, the sand cat is an animal that we got this year, but bringing it closer to pot potentially this sand cat, um, a lot of people would, I think, be happy with it. Siberian tiger compared to real life. Snow leopard is another big one that I've seen, and when you compare it to real life, there is a clear difference. I'd love to see this version of the snow leopard in the game. Spotted hyena is also another big one, as they look very different in real life as well, having a lot more detail. Springbok being given more of that fur texture in there. And potentially even the fl the pouch of fur that's on their rump. That would be a cool addition. The sun bear is one of the best animals in the Southeast Asia animal pack. So potentially giving it extra detail would be a great idea for giving this animal a lot more realism. The Thompson's gazelle just being a little bit closer to real life as they got it almost spot on the first time. Timber wolves being renamed to just Grey Wolf would be a good idea, as they look fantastic in real life, and I would love to see this translated to the game. Titan beetles also being given some of the hairs that um, other beetles have, and a bit more detail to the, the shell itself. And by far, after the Malayan tapir, this was the most requested, and it's probably the most requested fix. The West African Lion, also just being renamed to African Lion, but being given justice to the most magnificent big cat on Earth. I mean, that's if you're a lion fan. I'm personally a tiger fan, but they are phenomenal animals to look at, and I'd love them to be done some justice. Western chimpanzees being a, given a couple of skin variants as well, so giving them some darker skins would be a very good idea, like this individual here. So get, seeing these kind of chimpanzees in the game would be a, a dream come true for me, as I love chimps. Western diamondback rattlesnake, compared to real life, vastly different. Western lowland gorilla, yeah. Fluffier arms, I would say. And the last animal, the yellow anaconda, compared with real life. Oh my goodness, that was a long list of animals, but it goes to show that a lot of animals could use a bit of work to be brought up to speed with the current quality that Frontier has set for their DLC releases. And it would give more balance to the animal roster and have them all look just as good as the next. So, yeah, that, that's something I would just love to see because, yeah, all the animals deserve to look as magnificent as all the rest. So that's, that's the list I've, I've found. But um, if you have any other animals that you would like to see updated, do leave them in the comments down below. And I really do hope that Frontier does go back and make changes to a lot of these animals as I would just love them to look as realistic as all the ones that we've gotten in the past year. I mean, Sandcat is the only one from this year that I'm pretty sure was on that list. And yeah, that's the only one I could think of because all the rest look phenomenal. So that's, that's my list. If you have any others that you could add, leave it in the comments below. I know I just repeated myself. But yeah, if you enjoyed this rather, I would say, Somewhat boring video, if it, unless you agree with my choices, of course. But other than that, if you somehow enjoyed this video, do leave a like and subscribe for more. As, yeah, if you want to see this update, just start chanting and hopefully Frontier will do it. Because we sang for the Malayan Tapia for so long, so hopefully all the rest of the animals we brought up to that same level. But yeah, this is a, if you enjoyed the video, yeah, that's all for now. Bye-bye. <laughs>